dear gorgeous family out there, um, I'd like to share this evening prayer with you. And I, I can't remember if I've, I've done it before, this one. It's from this beautiful book by John Philip Newell, who was warden at Iona, the Celtic island. Um, and it's Monday today, so I'll, it's Monday evening prayer. And this book is a uh, mixture, has, has parts from the Quran also. It's very beautiful. Um, and today uh, I'd, I'd like to I'll just uh, share with you, I'd like to pray for people who um, have locked their feelings away. And uh, that's just come, came very strongly to me today. And before we pray, I'll just say a little bit about it, because somebody asked me about it, and I might talk some more. Um, but we all, uh, as I've said before, we all are so pure when we come to this earth and, and have very little hurt with us. Some have hardly any hurt. Uh, but as life goes, we get hurt. And um, all depending on which type of personality we are, we will become extreme in some ways. So we, we go out of balance. So from a place of balance, we go out of balance. And a person like me, which you can probably <laughs> imagine, who is outgoing uh, and very expressive, I, I became, uh, when I was hurt as a child and, and, and things were hard for me, see, it's a survival mechanism. Then you do something, uh, do what you're doing, you just do it in, in, a, in a more uh, intense way. So I became even more extrovert and, and domineering. So that's my weakness or my imbalance and I have to practice or just, yeah, in my healing process, learn to let it go and be more quiet and, and, and practice being more inwardly. Uh, and, uh, and then there are people who do the opposite. So when they get hurt as children, they close in. They close their, their feelings in and they don't express. And it's all a survival mechanism to, to, to be able to cope in this world, to protect ourselves. We do this. We become extreme and out of balance. And so there's probably half the world population ha is uh, an introvert type and uh, has, this, um, uh, has had this reaction. And some people have this very extremely and have not expressed their emotions for many, many, many years. And it can get so extreme that people actually don't know what they feel anymore because they become numb. Because it's all so closed in that they don't, they don't feel it anymore. And so I'd like to, to pray for these people uh, because, of, of course, the only way to heal is to start releasing these emotions. And it can be very dramatic and it takes courage. It takes a lot of courage. And uh, it's good if people around you support you, but sometimes they actually have to get you angry because <laughs> that's the only way you're going to start expressing yourself is by getting provoked so much that you start getting angry. But anyway, um, anything that is an imbalance in us is painful and hard. And uh, people who have locked their emotions away, um, uh, yeah, I'd like to pray for them. That they, God blesses them, uh, all you people who have this problem or this imbalance, and that you are blessed and you, um, you really get to feel that you get the courage and the actually the urge to start to, to share what you feel because it's very beautiful, although it can be very dramatic in the beginning. <laughs> it's very beautiful that you start to tell the world how you feel because it's your contribution, it's your you manifesting yourself. So all we who are, have been very loud <laughs> all our lives, we love it when people who are quiet start to say something. This is what I feel. This is what I think. So let's do this prayer. <clears throat> Monday evening prayer. Blessed are those who weep, for their tears will be wiped away. Prayer of awareness. At the setting of the sun, in the darkness of the night, with the whiteness of the moon in its splendor, 
We move with the earth as it turns. We are carried by the hours in their passing. We enter the dark with our years to seek shelter in night's sanctuary, to find strength for our souls, to know peace in our prayers and our, and our resting. At the setting of the sun, in the darkness of the night, with the whiteness of the moon in its splendor, we seek peace. Scripture and Meditation From Psalms God heals the broken-hearted hearted, and binds up their wounds. And from Matthew Do not be afraid, I am with you always. And from the Quran In the remembrance of God our hearts are comforted. Our heart is comforted. This is prayer for the life of the world. Our heart is comforted in its awareness of you, soul within our soul, life within all life. Our heart is comforted in remembering you, giver of this day, gift of every moment. May we be bearers of comfort. May we be strong in our soul, to cry at the wrongs of nations, to weep with the bleeding earth, to mourn with those who mourn this night, in the loss of life and lands, in the loss of dreams and hopes. May we be strong in our soul this night. So dear glorious Father in heaven, uh, dear beautiful radiant light, uh, who is within all of your creation, you who shine everywhere. You are in us and we are in you. We are completely one with you. I thank you for your light. I thank you for your wisdom and your beauty and your peace and your love. Your never-ending love for us human beings and for all of life. Thank you that you are forever present right here and right now where we are and that you never ever leave us. So this evening, this Monday evening, I wish to pray for people who have locked their emotions away. I pray, Lord, that you, over the whole earth, you meet every person who has locked his or her feelings away. Help them soften. Give them courage. Uh, give them the will and the freedom to start to express themselves as they feel and as they think. And I pray for people around them that either they go away <laughs> or they start to support these people who start to express themselves. I thank you that every emotion we have has its roots in something we have experienced and that it is true for us. But I also thank you, Lord, that under our emotions is your peaceful place in us that deep within us we are, uh, we are much more than emotions. We are, we are one with you. But we need to release our emotions and to feel them to be really well and healed human beings. So I thank you, Lord, that you send extra angels to bless these people. Fill their hearts with peace. Fill their hearts with trust and fill their hearts with a knowing that there is room for them and that the world needs them to start expressing themselves. Thank you for the beautiful gift these people bring to the earth and that now they will start bringing it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord, that you are the best and the most beautiful and that you bless all of us. So in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, thank you, thank you. Glorious Father. Prayer of Blessing Peace for the earth and its creatures, peace for the world and its peoples, peace for our fathers, peace for our mothers, peace for our brothers and sisters, the peace of heaven's vastness, the peace of ocean depths, the peace of earth's stillness, to bless us in the night, to bless us this night.